Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Michael Porter Jr. I'm excited to try out this MPJ. He is the unlimited reward for season five, the first mode reward of season five. 20 wins and unlimited this season will get you this MPJ card, and I do believe he is going to be very, very good. My question is, how good is he defensively? How well does he move? I know he's missing some badges. How good is he at the small forward position? How does he compare to a Sean Marion, to a LeBron, to legitimately the best small forwards in my team? Like, where does he rank? And I'm interested to find out. Before we hop into if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 20,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's see what MPJ is looking like. So, Michael Porter Jr., 6 foot 10 at small forward, 99 offense, 96 defense with a 92 driving layup, 95 mid range, 95 three ball, 95 close shot, 85 free throw, uh, 85 driving dunk, 90 ball handle, 80 block, 85 steal, 88 perimeter, 88 interior, 91 speed, 90 speed with ball, 91 excel, 90 vert, 87 strength, 95 stamina, and 90 lateral quickness. Um, also has 26 Hall of Fame badges, 37 gold badges, good looking card, off fast twitch, posterizer, agent three, blinders, catch and shoot corner specialist, dead eye, green machine, guard up, limitless range, handles for days precision dunker open look spot finder blow by triple strike bulldozer just a lot of pretty good hoffs gold badges are solid as well the thing about him is he has almost all gold defensive badges so if you want him to be an elite level defender you're gonna have to add those yourself he has gold speed booster but when you look at the badges that he is missing as well there are a few like angle braces you probably want to add he can't get a movable enforcer at 94 feet outside of that he pretty close to has everything else i don't think he really needs anything super important he just has some badges on gold that you'd probably like to see on hall of fame i guess would be the main complaint if you wanted to make one um the real question for me with this mpj card is how is his release on quick i think it should be pretty amazing um now his sigs are eh, honestly i would say the escape isn't great and it's between the legs also is kind of slow but the release is next level i mean it is phenomenal it is fast smooth easy to time just absolutely butter and with how good of a shooter he is stat and badge wise he is going to be one of those guys who just just gets to one at a very very high level i wish he could move a little better in the half court because his sigs are pretty mediocre but that release is disgusting and his fade to both sides is also really really nice so mpj is just one of those cards who i feel like as a scorer as a shooter is a great great option and is he next level great as an overall card well we'll see how he plays defensively he is 6'10 at small forward and his release is butter i mean if richard lewis had this release richard lewis would be dang near the best release the best card in the game i just wish his animations were i guess a little better would be my one complaint for uh mpj in terms of his half court animations magic dribble style gives you a decent push cross but like his animations could be better but overall i like the fade a lot and i think his release is extraordinary i think he will be a very fun very good card but i'm not sure he's quite as elite as i hope he like is he top two at small forward probably not is he top five? 100%. And he's going to be really fun to use. So let's hop into a game. Let's use MPJ. All right, going up against uh, Wild Maddox, who has Magic, Kawhi, Zion, Wimby, and Sean Kemp. Kind of an interesting squad. Not a terrible team, but also not an extraordinary one. Um, we got ourselves a good matchup here, though. I am interested to see how he can play against Zion, who I do believe is a top three to five small forward in the game as well. So this is an interesting matchup to me, to be honest, because these guys are like very, very close to each other. Um, let's wall up here, though, and let's see what we can do. Contest, beautiful stuff. Click off, beautiful. Rotate, contest. Good. Good defense. Love to see that. Let's run the floor, and let's see what we can get going um space the floor kick to the corner catch and shoot mpj that's where we want to find him and that is what he does knock down shots green light good start michael porter jr open three ball beautiful start to the game don't get beat too far to the base good d let's go good recovery six foot ten gets there and gets the block i think he could be a pretty darn good defender this is one of those cards like you add like a couple of hall of fame defensive badges to him he could be really interesting because that release is so butter like he doesn't have to be your primary ball handler he can be an impactful car just because you have to guard him so closely the thing is like is he better than a michael beasley i don't know if because the thing about beasley is that's kind of what beasley gives you as well is the incredible release and it makes it's one of the things that makes beasley as good as he is to be completely honest um my question is like mpj nice pull up there very nice shot he's super smooth he's a bucket getter for sure but like i'm looking at this car and i'm trying to see if he's better than the five or so best small forwards in the game and the honest answer is i don't know 
to be completely honest. Like, I'm feeling like the answer might be no. Um, no disrespect to uh, Tempe J at all, but, like, I just I don't think without being incredible defensively and without having great movement, like, he has a nice fade, sure, and his release is awesome, but... I don't know if it's enough to for him to be top top tier. I'm trying to fade with him. I will say his fade does he fades very far backwards. Uh, so you do, want to make sure you're fading um, close to the three point line so you're not falling too far away. Like there, I almost think I fell too far away from the basket to green that fade. Like there is a, his release is so nice. I just wish he had slightly better animations like Sigs to create an open shot and then defensively like I think you want to add some extra badness tone to really soup him up. For me. I've already put extra badges on a couple other small forwards like Kawhi, like Scottie Pippen, Michael Beasley. Those types of cards already have badges for me. So those guys are going to play in my lineup uh, over this MPJ because I'm not going to badge out MPJ when I already have those guys. So if you don't have those types of cards and you don't have a lot of cards boosted up, that's a terrible pass. I need to stop trolling and pay attention because I'm just giving up wide open shots out here completely trolling that entire the game. Um, but yeah, I, I think I don't know. I think this card is good. I don't know if he's quite as good as like last season. Thurl Bailey was incredible um, to start the season as the unlimited reward. I wouldn't say this MPJ is quite that good. I guess, honestly, in order for him to be like truly elite, I think I would have needed him to, to see him get some sig changes uh, because like he is a athletic 6'10", great shooter, can do some things uh, as a playmaker and defensively capable. Like he's certainly a good card. I just think there's a lot of good cards is, is really the main thing. Um, like there oh my goodness get into the rim not a good layup animation though i really should have uh, held that down a lot longer i was kind of trying to pump fake and uh he shot it so good tray fade oh he missed it though um got a good slow fade animation but still missed it so throw it to the corner catch mpj i really want to shoot it if i can get a crab i am shooting the ball so fast or if i can get an open fade that might be enough space green light big bucket mpj with 12 points he is starting to get it off man he almost has takeover as well so good cut off on the dribble drive there by Bye, Kobe. Let's rotate in and let's recover back out for a contest. There's the contest. There's the contest. Throw it up to uh, MPJ. MPJ with the catch, the downhill drive all the way. Michael Porter Jr. and one. Let's freaking go. That 6'10 frame getting a glitchy fast animation as he gets towards that rim. Has sharp shooting takeover now as well. You saw his takeover or his uh, stamina glitch to full when I activated the takeover. I guess that's something that happens. Um, and there you go. Uh, beautiful offense by Michael Porter Jr. He's starting to take over offensively. I'm what I'm seeing. Give me a block. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I thought I was going to get that block from behind, too. I thought he was going to make that defensive play as well. Um, run the floor. Let's throw it over to MPJ. He's guarded by Wimby. Definitely has a uh, speed advantage here. Um, same side burst here. And let's just fade. Here we go. Another fade to the other side. You're not. You're not guarding him. You're not guarding him one-on-one. -on -one. We're using that same side burst. If I don't have great half-court sigs, I'm going to use my same side burst, especially since he doesn't have basic hezzy, so he's good there. And he's really creating whatever he wants now, starting to really flow, I feel like. If you use his drill moves properly offensively, he can be such an impactful card. It's interesting because he's. it's all about what you want, honestly. At the end of the day, with a card like MPJ, it's the question is, does he fit what you're looking for out of your small forward? Because for some people, a card like Zion is a better option because he's more athletic, but he may not have... Uh, he doesn't have the release that an MPJ does, nor does he have the size of an MPJ. Like, look at that. How do you guard that? That is so tough, bro. I don't know. Like, offensively, with his fade and his shot, he's so good. It's just... I think competitively, it's going to be hard to get open with him, but he is such a threat. And then the question is, like, a guy like Michael Beasley, who's also not a great... I, I think, honestly, MPJ and Michael Beasley are very similar cards, to be completely honest. I think that's a pretty fair comparison there. Um... I think he's in that borderline. Like, I think he is 100% in that. Um, for some people, he's going to be one of their two or three best small forwards in the game, 100%. And then for some people, they might not even say he's top five because of the questionability of his defense and some other stuff. So I don't know. I think this card is very much an opinion-based card in terms of how much you like him. Um, what he gives you as a shooter is undeniable, without a doubt. But does he give you enough on the court as a playmaker, as a defender, to justify using over a couple of the other top small forwards? I don't know. Like, especially for the people who have Galaxy. If you have Sean Marion or LeBron or um, Tatum or KD, like, is this MPJ plan for you?
I don't know. There's a lot of good cards at a position like small forward. So a guy like MPJ, I think some people might have a top two or three, and some people might not even have top five, like I said. So up eight with 28 seconds left. Let's get one more bucket. We'll call it a game. This dude's still trying, but I don't really know why, because the game is over. MPJ, catch and shoot, front fade, green bane. His animations are nasty. 24 points on nine of 11 and five of six from three. The shooting threat that this card is, is close to unmatched. He is an absolute sniper from the outside and that in of itself makes him an elite level small forward where does he rank at the small forward position like i said i think that's up to you i hope you did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace